Hello and welcome back to our 21 series of questions we would ask a estate planning attorney if we were going to hire them. We are estate planning attorneys. I'm Raymond Chandler and this is my partner Scott Stork. We're with the Polaris Law Group out of St. Charles, Missouri. And again, we're going to continue this series on. So to make sure that you see all the videos and get all the notifications, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit your bell for the notifications and keep up to date with us. So today's question, we're going to talk about what do you charge to work with my financial professional team? And your financial professional as being your financial advisor, your CPA, things of that nature. So that's the question for today that we would be asking if we were hiring someone. So Scott, why is that an important question? So remember that we've talked in the last two videos about funding, right? So how do we tie your property and your assets, meaning your bank accounts, your investment accounts, your retirement accounts, your 401k, whatever that is, to your estate plan? One of the things that we really need help with and, and really that we want to work collaboratively to make sure it's done properly is to work with your financial professional team. So if you have um, a financial advisor, we want to make sure that we work with them to make sure that things are done completely and accurately. Let's say you own a business. You probably need to talk to your CPA to make sure that things are done completely and accurately. What if you have a separate business attorney? We might need to work with them to make sure that things are done completely and accurately. I think you understand the, 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 the issue going forward. So what we want to do is kind of keep away from that nickel and dime worry. Um, I, I, a client would hate, I would hate if I were a client, to get a bill in the mail if my, um, if my estate planning attorney had to talk to my financial advisor. So if someone works hourly, if an attorney is charging you hourly for funding, then every time that they work with a member of your financial um, or legal professional team, you're going to get a bill in the mail. Um, that's probably going to make, uh, make you um, not very happy if, we're, if, if you're working with that estate planning attorney to do your funding. As we talked about in the last video, if the attorney doesn't charge anything, then they're probably not going to work collaboratively collaboratively. Um, as, as, as we said, attorneys get paid by charging for their time and effort. If they don't charge, they're probably not going to put much effort into it. Um, and if there is no outreach to those, to those professionals, then as I said before, they're probably not working collaboratively. They're probably not working with your financial team at all and your funding and your estate plan is not going to work at all or it's not going to work as well as it should if it was done in the correct way. So Ray, what's our approach? So our approach is to work collaboratively, work as a team with your entire team. So the way we charge for that is we just, it's part of our funding. And in the funding system we have is part of that is to make sure that your team is aware of what we're doing, that we're aware of what they're doing and that we can communicate on an open, basis. So we, of course, charge flat fees. So if your CPA, your financial advisor has a question, it's not going to end up being a bill for you, the client. Um, it's not going to end up being something that's going to increase the cost of your estate plan, anything like that. It's going to be part of the estate plan because if we don't do that, if we don't work as a team, then something's going to fall through the cracks. So if you and your, if your attorney and your financial advisor and your CPA are not working together on a regular basis, there may be something that falls through the cracks. So we want to make sure that the estate plan doesn't affect the financial plan incorrectly and the financial plan doesn't affect the estate plan and vice versa with taxes and things like that nature. So when you look at your estate plan, when you look at your plan overall, it's kind of a three-legged stool we like to talk about. One leg is the attorney, one leg is the financial advisor, one leg is the tax professional, whether it's CPA or tax professional of any kind. And that's what holds your plan up and, and, and make sure you have a sturdy base to everything. So again, if we want to include that as part of, you know, our funding approach, the fees that are included, the charges that are included, knowing that that's part of the plan and then knowing that it's already included in your funding system, that's the important part. That's how we work with our clients. And again, with our client care program, we're continuously talking to our financial advisors, continuously talking to our CPAs, continuously talking to our clients about everything that's going on in their life, including just inviting those people into any meeting that, that our clients want them to be at. So every once in a while, we'll have a meeting with our clients where they're just like, I just wanna make sure everybody's on the same page. Bring in the, you know, bring in the financial advisors and the tax professional and make sure everybody's there. Include them in all of our group meetings, things like that. They're really part of your team, part of your family a little bit, and we want them to be part of your estate plan as well. So uh, that's the answer to this week's question. We, um, again, are in our 21 um, question series of 
um, questions we would ask an estate planning attorney if we were creating our own plan. Um, next week's uh, video is what happens if my property changes later? What happens if it changes two years from now or five years from now or 10 years from now? Um, and what does that look like? So again, um, I'm Scott Stork with Polaris Law Group. This is my partner, Raymond Chandler. We're an estate planning and elder law firm out of St. Charles, Missouri. Remember to hit the subscribe button to get notifications of the next videos in our series. And we'd love to help you with any of your, uh, your planning needs. And we thank you for being with us today.